masa, masa. Ahí se fueron como agua pan.
Mr. Knudsen represents District 2, which includes all four parts of the Burkmar, Central Gwinnett, Collins Hill, Lanier, Mill Creek, Mountain View, and North Gwinnett clusters. In addition to his work on the board, Mr. Knudsen serves as the Vice President of Development and Marketing for Lighthouse and their Chief. Mr. Knudsen joined the board this past January. So it is my honor to be the first to introduce him to a Collins of Commencement ceremony. Please help me welcome Mr. Steve Knudsen. Principal Wayne, distinguished guests, graduates, parents, family and friends, I bring you greetings from the Gwinnett County Board of Education and also from the superintendent's office. I also want to go a little off script here and just ask for a little more recognition of your Prince, Georgia Principal of the Year, Principal Wayne McQuinn. Since that diagnosis. 
And maybe for that child in church, they can forget for a week that they've got cancer. Well, we've been doing this for 20 years, and what's amazing is that many families have come down and served, and their family legacy is incredible. If you can find a way to be a part of something bigger than you that requires you to give yourself away on a regular basis, your perspective changes, your attitude improves, your appreciation grows, and success follows. So in closing, y'all have heard about the American dream, the house on the corner, two cars in the garage, a couple of kids, a dog, maybe a cat. There's nothing wrong with that. But my challenge to you, as you can probably guess, is it's not worth accumulating a bunch of stuff if you missed out on the relationships along the way. Get the doubt and find a way to give yourself away. You will find yourself surrounded by close relationships, friends and family, and you will have success. Congratulations, Pasek, if you have.
without you, there's no chance I would be where I am today. Thank you so much for everything. Now, as much as I'm grateful for the recognition and opportunity to speak with this time I was given me, the fact that my great boy average was marginally higher than those below me is nothing to break up. The real accomplishment lies with each and every one of you. For over 12 years, we have been committed to the painstaking journey of education, and what a journey it has been. A perilous one, filled with a roller coaster of ups and downs. Some days, we felt like we knew, knew more than Athena herself. Other days, and seemingly quite a substantially larger number of them, we were ready to drop out if we had to take just one more test, or write one more essay. But, we did it. We forged on, determined to build the future, and now let all of our hard work go to waste. Some may call this a sudden cost fallacy. I prefer the term dedication. But we didn't do it alone. Oh no, not by a long shot. If it wasn't for our loving parents, encouraging us at their best and keeping us at low power works. If it wasn't for our wonderful teachers, making sure we learned everything we needed to learn, despite the time and effort it cost. If it wasn't for our school's amazing administration and staff, who gave us a safe, clean, and exceptional place to do that learning. Yeah, I don't want to think about it either. Alas, our time in the public school system has come to a close. But as one chapter of our lives draws to an end, a new one begins, full of opportunity and promise. We should not be afraid of this challenging new landscape. Rather, we should be restless. Frustrated the outwardly that we have had to wait this long for the world to let us join its ranks. Eagles do not wait. Eagles take what is theirs. Eagles soar above the earth as if its entire domain belongs to them. And rightfully so. As a questionably wise man once said, I am inevitable. I would like to end on a more accurate note. We are inevitable. Thank you.
privilege of representing Guangzhou as the valedictorian of the class of 2019. Before I begin, I would like to take any time to thank God for this 14 years. I would like to give a special shout out to my parents. You have been my role model since birth. You have demonstrated to me the value of selflessness and virtue. Which is improving ourselves and creating a better future for this society. Not only do you spend countless hours teaching us, mentoring us, and supporting us academically, you do the same personally. You teach us the value of character and hard work and respect, among many others. I can definitely attest to the fact that certain teachers in particular have made a huge impact on my life and have shaped me to who I am today. Mr. Tome, who unfortunately could not be here today, you have taught me to put my heart into everything and to never give up. Mr. Lowe and Mr. Merrick, you have taught me that people can make a difference no matter the circumstances. Ms. Kikis, you have taught me to see every situation from a different perspective. And that's only to name a few of them. Now it's us, the real one on the Every We are where we are, and we are who we are, because of the systems. Some of us will be going to college, and some of us will not. Some of us will be working jobs, and some of us will not. No matter which path, which direction you take, the future is filled with the most possibilities. If you allow it, seize every opportunity. Though we all may have different definitions of success, some adult at one point has told us that failure is necessary in reaching our goals. But the moment you give up, the moment you convince yourself that the attempt is not worth the effort, that is your failure. Through every bad experience of life, you must decide for yourself whether you will let it consume you or to use that experience to grow. You must decide if you want to let it cut you down or to build yourself up from it. Marriott from Pixar's grave once asked a question. If you had the chance to change your fate, would you? Apologies for my horrible subject. But the reality is, it is only you who has the power to change your fate for better or for worse. So as we move on to the real world, or in other words, the clueless world and just open up to our possibilities, I urge you to take every step of life with purpose and persistence. Just remember that nothing is forever. So take advantage of every moment and cherish the memories and relationships you create along the way. As 17 and 18 year olds, we have luxury of time. Use every bit of it before 10 and 20 years flash by and you're wondering, you're wondering where it all went. I'm sure all of the old people here are kind of late. <laughs> so it goes. <laughs> now, I didn't think that this in my speech, but I feel like with this platform of over a thousand people being forced to listen to a short 17-year-old Asian kid, I need to bring a certain issue to your attention. Every new generation has problems that they're left with that they must resolve. And we were left with some pretty severe ones. I have to admit, there is no doubt in my mind that we as a generation will make mistakes as well. But our Earth is quite literally dying. <coughs> the bright sky, the towering trees, the deep blue oceans we have all learned to appreciate will eventually disappear if we do not take action. Our favorite quirky and hilarious scientist we all grew up watching, Bill Nye, has warned us, and pretty certainly if you watch the video, about our current situation. The worst part is, this problem has a deadline. Reminds me of school too, right? We have become so accustomed to receiving projects and assignments with due dates, and waiting until the last minute to complete them. I'd like to call it, we become professional procrastinators. And I can admit, I waited until 11 p.m. to finish an essay not even do a four-hour order. But this cannot wait. 
We have less than 25 years to fix all the local things we've done to this planet. That is our our issue. This issue is something that is not just for older people or the younger. Every single person in this arena, standing on this very floor, minus the concrete, is affected by this. But with the skills and attitudes molded by the generation above us, we can create lasting change for our world. Our time for college, for our careers, for our futures is at risk. And we can make a change for us, for our country, and for this world. This is our time. Sure, you can call me a tree hugger, but I don't know about you, I just don't want to be all to based on a true story. Now is the time to rise up, take a stand, make change. Now is the time to make this world a better place for all of us. On a lighter note, <laughs> class of 2019, congratulations, and we wish you the best of luck.